Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us again for another Tell Aquarium program. Today, we have something really special in store. So we are doing a Sunday fish sketch. So I'm Haley. I'm joined again by Alex and Leo. So we're all going to be doing this together. So basically what this is, is it's a hashtag on Twitter. Alex, you want to tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so if, if you go on Twitter and you find the hashtags, uh, it's hashtag Sunday fish sketch. For whatever reason in my head, I always want it to be uh, uh, fish sketch Sunday. <laughs> So if I say that, just know it is hashtag Sunday Fish Sketch, uh, and it's kind of organized by uh, Renee Martin on Twitter, um, and we can actually toss her Twitter up on there. And basically every Friday she puts up a theme, Yep. and then on Sunday people kind of just sketch these fish based on the theme. Now we were ready to sketch fish in the Sea Life Center that met the theme, but this week's theme is just draw a fish, any fish, without a visual reference. So we're not allowed to look at the fish while we're drawing them, um, but we're definitely encouraging you to follow along on this. So the way we're gonna do this, uh, if you wanna grab our, our, our wheel here. Oh, So we have 10 types of fish, general types. Um, some of them are very specific, but some of them are pretty, pretty general. Um, types of fish that are in the Sea Life Center. We're gonna spin the wheel, we are gonna see how or what fish it gives us, and then we're, we decide we're gonna start at a minute and a half. It's really short, and then if we need a little more time, we can bump up to like two minutes per sketch, but we're gonna see. Uh, I can't draw fish to begin with, so we're gonna see how this goes, <laughs> but honestly, no matter your art uh, capabilities that you think you have, there's no reason to not just sketch a fish. It's fun, it's once a week, they give you a different topic, so check out that hashtag, and let's see what our first fish is. All right, let's see. Ooh. And I click upside down. No, you got it. Yeah. Aha. Oh, gosh. What is it? Oh, All right. Salmon. Salmon. So uh, obviously like a very traditional Alaska fish. So we're going to do salmon. Uh, okay. Now there are five types of salmon. We're just whatever you want to call a salmon is what we're going with. All right. So we will begin in three, two, one. Begin. Your salmon. going to be really not oh, great, God. I'll tell you what. Here we go. All right. Hopefully you are following along with us. Um, but we are going to put up pictures of what these actually look like after the fact, and you're going to be able to see our, our illustrations uh, closer. My drawing abilities are limited. <laughs> I am concerned. Yeah. Yep. This is not going well. Oh, oh my right. God! Really okay, that was, that was pretty right. short. That's it. That's it. All right. So, are you gonna slap up what? It, what? A, a I want to show your reaction. Ready? Guess what you should have. All right. Uh, oh, no, all right. I'm not terrible. So, who wants no. to put theirs up first? Oh, sure. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Well, this is what I drew for a salmon. He's he's lovely. Uh, and so Laura's gonna uh, be. Kind of flip it back and forth between uh, what we have and what uh, what it should be, and we're going to see how it all goes. Yep. All right. All right. So Leo, what Haley's do you got? Leo. Uh, Leo's got like a character going on. See, Leo, <laughs> Leo is really good at drawing this like specific style of very cool yeah. cartoon art. I yeah, love it's, it. It's good. It's fun. It's fun. I'm we, a we've salmon. got some people in the building. We need to harass to draw some fish at some point. Yeah, we have a lot of good artists here. <laughs> That are There's mine. <laughs> he's he's big. He's in charge. Yeah, <laughs> so but we go. all got like 
the lateral line Generally, going on there, and yeah. like the fins are kind of in the same spot. Yeah, I was worried about my fin placement, but there we go. All I right, couldn't Sam, remember. A minute and a half, I think, is enough time for us to get something recognizable. Right. Like yeah, so yeah. So we're gonna stick with that, but we're gonna do a couple more here. All right. Now, maybe you're not following along with us. Maybe you don't have your pen and paper right now, but uh, definitely something to do today. Try to draw a fish. And if you do, share it on Twitter. Yeah, make sure you use the hashtag Sunday Fish Sketch and hashtag Telequarium so we can see it. All right, a skate. A skate. All right. Okay. okay. Skates. I think uh, I flat shark. I can try. Here we go. Hold on. Okay. Another minute and a half. Three. Yep. Two. One. Go. All right, let's skate. Let's think. Uh, I'm going to do. Make sure it's not a ray. Make sure you get a skate. We can talk about the difference between rays and skates. <laughs> not while I draw, not but afterwards. <laughs> All right, that's a bit and a half. Uh, here we go. There was no talking for that. So, uh, <laughs> no, for sorry, we were concentrating. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get our skates. All right, yes, uh, you're gonna show. All right. All right, and so uh, okay. something I noticed, this, this photo here is actually our first photo you're gonna see uh, from Photo Art, which is a project by Joel Satori. Uh, he was just a great photographer for animals, and he's actually been here to the Sea Life Center in the past. Uh, I highly recommend you check out photoarc.com. Uh, and his project, PhotoArc, is going around to facilities that keep animals and uh, photographing animals in human care. And some of his photographs are of the only specimen we know of alive of those species. Uh, so a really, really cool project. But I, I guess I'll go first. We won't make you go first every time. OK. <laughs> we'll move clockwise around here. Here's my skate. Ooh. Get your light on here. I think we did pretty good on this I one. I think the skates an yeah. okay thing, right? So we got skates, uh, obviously related to stingrays, uh, and then sharks as well. So yeah. we did want to put a cartilaginous fish on there. So that yeah. was mine. Let's see what we got. Here. Um, this one was mine. Ooh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. yeah, I don't That's know. <laughs> yeah, the eyes are great. I, something uh, I had. Well, we, we don't have it coming up, but something I had and. Uh, I'm glad someone else did it. I couldn't remember. I feel like they do have the little fins on the, the back yeah. of the tail. Yeah, so, so one of the main differences between rays and skates is yeah. skates primarily use their um, tail fins in order to move. So they'll use that caudal fin <laughs> and they'll kind of, um, they will flap it around. Okay. So Leo's drawing is very appropriate. Flap, flap. Um, <laughs> rays, however, will use their pectoral fins on the side of their body and they'll kind of flap those instead. So that's why if you kind of see rays moving through the water, they almost look like they're flying. They have like little wings. Yeah. Um, but skates will more use their tail fins That's and great. underlay them. Yeah, so. and they're really fun to watch. It's actually a, a tank stream we want to do. We do have a couple skates here and then like a little deli front tank. Mm -hmm. A lot of the day they kind of just sit there, but uh, maybe we could do like a little feeding with them and see if we can get the, the view because their mouth is on the underside. So when they are eating, they kind of like cruise over top of it and Hoover up their food. Uh, so it's fun to see if you can get that. But all right, are we ready for another one? I think so. All right, let's see. All right. Ready? Here we go. Go, go. All right. OK, great. Grunt Sculpin. They're so cute. If you haven't been watching our all day tank stream today, uh, we are streaming from one of our micro habitats. They're smaller uh, habitats 
And uh, we're looking at the Grunt Sculpin, which is, like all of us love Grunt Sculpin. So we're going to uh, get started on that. But we only have a minute and a half oh, God. <laughs> to draw our Grunt Sculpin. In three, two, one, go. All right, so the Grunt Sculpin. No, that's it. Oh, I, <laughs> no, I, I just didn't want to sit uh, quietly again. But yeah, yeah. the Grunt Sculpin, uh, very per, uh, peculiar looking fish, I feel like. Um, and a lot of times they actually hide. If you manage to catch the tour I did of the front of house, I had mentioned that they hide in um, like barnacle shells, like, uh, like empty shells from barnacles. They kind of hide in there uh, and actually blend in a little bit when they do that. They're also really cute, I think, because they don't really swim most of the time. Correct, yeah. They kind of hop around, and it, it's very interesting to watch. So hopefully they're doing that over on the feed. They hop. They kind of scuttle, uh, I yeah. think is the, the term I used. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a good one. That, that you'll see why. Like, I think our illustrations are going to show it. And then, of course, we have another great photograph of actually uh, a grunt sculpin in our habitat, I believe, is what's going to be coming up. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm the first person to erase now. Is that oh, right? Oh gosh! Yeah, I you totally. Used to be a I totally botched a, a feature here. Somehow I forgot that we could erase. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mine's not quite right, but we're gonna see. Yours is so cute. Uh, All right, Leo gets to me. go first. Leo will go first. Oh, no, we're gonna we're gonna see what it looks like. I mean, we know, we know, we love them. Oh. Uh, they're adorable. They're so cute. Okay. Not quite. All right. Leo's going to go first here. And, oh, my uh, God. Hopefully, those of you at home get to see this, uh, the photograph as well as Leo's adorable drawings here. And we will be posting all of these using the hashtag uh, Sunday Fish Sketch as well as the hashtag Teleaquarium uh, for our programs here. And if you share your fish, be sure to use both those hashtags, please. Uh, that way, the rest of the world can see it under the Sunday Fish Sketch, and we can find it if you use Teleaquarium. All right, I'm going to show mine, I guess. Yeah. I like I. The thing I say is that uh, grunt sculpin <laughs> is very much just a fish's head with like a tail yeah. strapped to the yep, back of it. Yeah, pretty much. So I wanted to emphasize the head and the weird little yeah. lips that they have. Um, yours is like like a little porcupine snout almost. Yeah. Right? yeah. A hedgehog snout. Yeah, it's like a little like, I love it. jelly bean thing. All right. My yeah. my mouth is not quite right. You just look I was angry. To... <laughs> <laughs> it's Why? Like a, it's very adorable trying to be angry. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's their personality. It's like kissy lips with the angry yeah. eyebrows. Yeah. Oh that's no, true. Cool. I was trying to go for stripes, I, yeah. but I only got like, <laughs> like a, a one, one in. I know. We're only a minute and a half for, for sketching here. All right. He does look angry. Yeah. <laughs> so. We're gonna get another one in here. We're kind of running out of sides of paper, so we might. Uh, we should have one more side of paper. Yeah, yeah I'm but. gonna fold. Oh, we do have one more side. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, folding this guy. Take here. All right. All right. In the meantime. In the meantime. Oh gosh, give me something good. Uh, oh, this is a tough one. They're so hard. Prowfish. So prowfish live in our oh, bird habitat. Are they? Uh, we have two of them. Um, they're a strange, strange fish. Yeah. I'm trying to even think of how to draw it. All right, we're going to get <laughs> started here, though. A prow fish. Um, the males and females do look different, so I think we're probably just going to have like a general prow fish going on, unless you want to decide that you've got a male or female. But right. we'll start a minute and a half in three, two, Oops. one, okay. go. Uh. Hmm. Oh, no. I don't remember very well what this one looks like. They're, they're elongated. All yeah, of them. they're I knew elongated. That. Um, they kind of look like strangely. They almost have like an. I know, I know this isn't helpful as we're talking about drawing fish without a reference image. <laughs> they kind of have like a um, like an oarfish yeah. base. Yeah, that's but what it, I was getting. Like a getting. short oarfish, yeah, right? Like a maki like maki tucker. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and they, what's great is um, they have a, a big array of sensory organs on their face. So fish have a lot of sensory organs that can sense vibration and movement in the water. One of the, the most famous is the lateral line that runs down the length of the fish. Um, but in the case of these ones, they've got some really visible ones. Um,
You're not, <clears throat> it's not like quite eel long, you know? Right. But still, still it, a pretty yeah, elongated body. It's a kind of elongated body, yeah. I have no idea what their tail fin looks like. Ooh. Use my eraser gun. Oh boy. I feel like, I feel like they kind of have Pringle fins for their, <laughs> their pectorals. Like, it's okay, like a, it's yeah. like a ruffles. Yeah. 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 I get that. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Ruffles, sponsor us, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, I have color I want to put in here. Oh, color. Oh, None of us have used color oh. yet. Oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> that's a minute and a half. All right. All right. Is it uh, my... It's your turn. To oh, wait, wait, wait. We oh, have to see what the crawfish looks like. Picture. All right. Oh, what does it look like? <laughs> uh, it's not terrible. It's not the worst. It's not the worst it's in the, the world. Worst. All right, go for it. All right. Yeah, yours um, is okay. Yeah, yeah that, that was mine. Actually, yeah. It's it's missing a bottom fin, but oh, no worries. So there's there's that one. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It's recognizable. Yeah. I feel like I just couldn't exactly remember. Like I kept talking about these features, and then I had no idea what I, that actually meant. <laughs> So, Aww. It looks like a school bus. <laughs> I feel like, like a school bus. I feel like he looks like when in SpongeBob when they draw fish. Oh, yes. Like he has a very SpongeBob look to him, and I love it. Yeah, yeah definitely. All right. I know. I, know. I got to chuck mine up there. Our battery on our lights going, so I'll figure out another solution for that. But it's mostly just to get rid of that shadow. So yeah. I have the yellow. So that's yeah. what yeah. that's that's that they have this weird bright right. yellow on their right. face. Um, my my uh, fin, that little ruffles fin, is too far, uh, too far down on the bottom. No, but you got the body shape and everything. Shape. All right. All right. We can get a couple more in here. All right. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Maybe like one more, two more, maybe yeah. tops. So. All right. We're probably gonna do one more. One more. One more. Okay. So last one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Ooh. I really wanted to decorate a <laughs> I more know. Mine. That's okay. All, All right. right. We got a Pollock. Pollock. Uh, wow. Which, when you think of Alaska, and you think of Alaskan seafood, you probably think crab, you probably think uh, salmon, you maybe halibut, you probably don't think pollock, even though that is our number one fishery in the state. Something that, like three billion pounds of pollock a year are caught in Alaska. Um, and most of that goes out to be frozen uh, fish products, like uh, frozen fish patties or fish sticks, or um, if you uh, have a surimi, the fake crab, uh, mm. Sometimes in like uh, California rolls or on salads, that is uh, typically mostly pollock as well. So pollock's an important fish for Alaska fisheries and for the world. And we're going to draw one in, uh, for a minute and a half in three, two, one, go. Pollock. A uh, more standard fish. Yeah. Like we started with kind of a standard fish in the salmon as far as body shape goes. And now we're, we're kind of back to a standard fish. Yeah. More of a standard fish. They got some weird looking fins though. I can't remember exactly what they look like right now, but. Yeah, the fins are the most noticeable thing on them, I think. Yeah. Um, and I, I feel like we were arguing this before, like they have a little barb or they don't have a barb. I don't remember. I don't remember if they have a barbell or not yet. They're a type of cod, and some cods yeah. have barbels. Some cods have barbels. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna like. Yeah, I'm gonna give mine a barbel. I don't know. Do it. It's happening. Just off the chin. They've got like this one little whoop off the chin. So I hope you have been sketching along with us. If not. Uh, we are planning to try to follow along with uh, the, the Sunday Fish Sketch every week. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. And uh, we're wanting you to follow along with us. All right. Oh, gosh. I think I got the fins. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. This is it. And uh, <laughs> yesterday, if you tuned in for our tank stream, uh, that was the harbor bottom habitat that we have here. And uh, that habitat has a little school of pollock in it. So you might have seen a lot of them come across the camera. But uh, let's go ahead and see what we've got for a po Okay. I mean, okay. yeah, I kind of okay. forgot they've got like this weird, like, splotchy My pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot this fin. The little, like, pelvic fins are underneath. No, I remember yeah. that they had, like, two on top that matched two on bottom. Right, exactly. right. So I I'll, couldn't I'll remember slide that. mine up here, I guess. Yeah, you got the fin placement down I on got that fin one. Placement, I think. 
But again, I mean, you can kind of see just generally not a wonderful artist when it comes to fish. So. All right. I think we're doing great. I think this has worked out really well. Yeah. We're, we were so panicked when they were like, uh, <laughs> you're not allowed to look at the fish. We're like, week. oh, geez. Yeah. yeah. And there you go. So we got that one. I like that eye. You keep doing like these nice, like, boom, stark eyes. I don't know. What I've like looked at drawing fish before, that's how, that's how they kind of do and it because the, they just kind of uh, stare. <laughs> yeah. I love that. If, if there's any confusion, I. That's something I kept forgetting to put on mine was oh, gills. Oh, yeah. I, so. I think I put gills <laughs> on my skate, and that's about it. Um, so there I you go. I don't think I did we're on gonna, any of mine. We're going to try and so document nice. our fish pictures, and we'll get those up on Twitter. Um, again, under the hashtag Sunday Fish Sketch, um, we're, we're going to post ours. So, I mean, you saw how I draw. Go ahead and post <laughs> yours. If you draw fish today, maybe it isn't today. Maybe it's like you're watching this on Tuesday and you're like, oh, I missed it. No, go ahead and draw it and tag it on Twitter, Sunday Fish Sketch, but also tag it with Tell Aquarium, please. Uh, and that way we know who kind of followed along with us. Um, maybe it didn't follow us. Hopefully it didn't follow us too much. Hopefully you, just, <laughs> you watched us and then did your own fish. Um, but hopefully you are enjoying uh, not only this program, but our other programs in Teleaquarium, uh, where we're bringing the aquarium, the Alaska Sea Life Center, to you over the vastness of the internet right now when you can't come visit us. Uh, but we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next uh, Teleaquarium program. Uh, we're doing these every day. Uh, at noon and 2 uh, Alaska time, which is 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Pacific time on our YouTube. And also check out our Facebook if you'd like to uh, see maybe a couple more streams here and there and some cute photos. Uh, but otherwise, for the Sunday Fish Sketch, be sure you check out uh, Renee Martin on Twitter. So thank you so much, and we'll see you later. <laughs>